Okay, we have a new and improved bushing, uh, greasable bushing kit uh, we're going to make available to wholesalers and uh, retailers as well. Um, with the, the pains that we suffer with this particular uh, club car precedent model is the cheap rubber bushings that they put in the upper control arms. And now that we're getting cars that are bigger, longer, bigger tires, faster, this is a 33 mile an hour car, we're seeing more and more problems with getting the alignment to stay where we put it. Uh, the cheap rubber bushings allows that upper control arm to move a little bit towards the inward part, which makes it move quite a bit out here at the outward part. So uh, we're gonna do a little pre prep work here because there's gonna be drilling and tapping involved. And right out here on this outside edge, Mike's gonna give us a mark where we're gonna drill a hole, knowing that we can get a grease gun in there later and it not be in the way of taking that nut off the top of the kingpin. Nice! Okay, with that marked, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pause for a second uh, anyone familiar with this knows you know you pull off the tires and the bumper and the, the headlight to access this stuff uh, we're gonna not bore you with the small details but we're gonna go ahead and get the both upper control arms removed out of the car and then we'll continue okay we got the box removed the bolts for the upper control arm uh, we'll pull this down out of the way oh yeah there we go go ahead and pull that out and now we're going to go ahead and pop out all these old bushings and we'll go ahead and drill uh, where we're going to put our zerks and tap it out and uh, we'll show you what that looks like when we're done and uh, hold on a sec this is basically what you're going to get in the repair kit uh, two long shoulder bolts um, Allen head and two short ones, four nylock washers, four greasable zerks, and eight bushings for the upper control arms. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, finish getting those drilled and tapped out, and we'll put all this back together. Okay, we're drilling that out with a 13 sixteenths. 13 sixteenths? Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds right? Yep. 13 sixteenths. One over three sixteenths. <laughs> Go ahead. Drill it out. <laughs> that battery dying. God. Hold on now, don't hit the button yet, it's loud. Uh, 1364 drill bit uh, on our mark we've made previously. Go ahead and drill it out. <laughs> okay, tighten your chuck. Okay, and on the upper side of the control arm, the widest point, we went ahead and um, just anywhere anywhere close to center, it's not really going to matter because there's a there's a void in there between the bushings uh, and that uh, shoulder bolt. So anywhere is fine. Just have it pointing towards the outwards part of the car, so it's easy to get a grease uh, grease gun on later. Okay, so we have the uh, lower and upper hole drilled, ready for tapping. Uh, anywhere near center of the upper control arms, fine, so long as it's orientated so that it's pointing towards the towards the wheel as much as you possibly can, so it's easy to get your grease gun on later. All right, we're going to go ahead and tap some threads. Okay, the threads are in, ready to put in the zerks. Go ahead and put that in there and snug it down. Don't overbear on these things you'll, you'll you can potentially strip them out so just bring it down nice and snug and now we have a way to grease it if some of the folks in the business or even somebody that has an older club car ds will remember they have bronze bushings in them and when you see those cars today 
<laughs> they're still there. It, everything's still put together and, and working. And, um, you know, that, that kind of stuff really held up um, on these cars. All this new rubber stuff is just failing left and right. And it's making my job, or our jobs, harder. Um, we wanted to go bronze in here. We could not because we're not dealing with a perfectly round piece of tubing. We're dealing with a piece of flat, uh, mild steel that has been rolled into the shape of a, uh, a, a circle. And the bronze bushings just wouldn't work out for us. So we have these. I'll uh, come up with a name for it uh, from my engineer. It's a very high-tech polymer hard bushing, greasable, impervious to uh, grease, gas, oil, things of that nature. Uh, it's supposed to last forever. So we'll see.